No need to hide now, Olaf. Gorm is dead. Gorm? Dead? But by your hand? He paid a bloody price for broken honor. I will not say more. Return to your sister. Oh, I will. Yet I would first join the villagers at their fire. They tell stories and I like to listen. Though I do not hear. Story time. Telling sagas of their own? Yes, yes. They tell stories. Yes, come, listen. Zokki. Rarondunde wasagohrori neyotzi zizu. Waharu. How? Toyedene. Zinue rodiskara gete. Junkquiro taguani. Dehni zarugi totni dagwe. Ya dehni ganare ziosumwaya. Danu aquegu gasumwa hunzi. Yotzi zizu. Yagoda denequa the wagu. Danu rarondo de. Yasunne yerede. Zokki, o sumagu, ya untke doda, ahyarek, dogatka negre. Tudayawasi, rarondo de, ya sagorege, o sumagu, ya ea da ne, ne yotzi zizu, zi wa agoya da haje, wa ea hadu, zi nahoda wa egweni. Nia de gaderege, ya ehoe, zi ya ea da ne, zi de jutsu wagardas. Gods, Rahnaraga, Dagwagara Duhas. I do not understand. Ah, you want me to tell a story? All right, let me think. story of betrayal, of selfish malice, and of gods who act as spoiled children. Of all our many gods, it is Odin who is the most revered. He is the All-Father, the High One, the Wise King. But for all his glories, he can also be the most elusive of his kind. Selfish, solitary, stubborn, even cruel. In days long gone, it came to pass that Odin's son, Baldur, died suddenly, felled by his only weakness, Mistletoe. Believing his son's death an accident, Odin sent a message to the Jotun, Hel, asking her to return his beautiful boy to life. Hel agreed, but on one condition. Only if every living creature in the Nine Worlds shed a loving tear for Baldur. At once, Odin sent word to every corner of the world, asking all to weep for his beloved boy. And all did. But one. A Jotun named Thok refused to cry for Baldur. Let Hel keep what she has received, Thok said, with malice. And that was that. Baldur was gone forever, sent on a funeral ship across the sea, buried in Midgard, amid trees and rocks. What Odin did not know is that Thok was none other than the trickster Loki in disguise, a god he knew as a friend. Worse still, it was Loki who led Baldur to his death by a sprick of mistletoe. All these tricks and feints Loki had conceived. Some say it was in Loki's nature to be so cruel. Others argue it was revenge for deeds done by Odin to Loki and his children. There is a third view, that all these acts 
kind and cruel, were sown long ago in the pattern of their lives. That we are not the authors of our own destiny, but only its readers. And that we... Oh. <laughs> uh, that we should fight against this view, for it is deeply unwelcome. Angua gara duha se ne at nowara rao gara. Nene o niot ti wat ha det nowia ge. Gorham brought this stone across the whale road for a strange purpose. I do not know why, but it seems to belong to this land. Yos, gods. Gwa, ras nu sage wat neat da herde. Dagwa weird at go? Take it and guard it. It may be that one day you will know its purpose. Thank you. Each of you. For all you have done. Aya Watski. Yeti sot hugungaha. Ayeza ha herda da ratnardaga. He is tall. His hair is like mine. And he uses a bow. He was last seen hunting me. So what? Yorav Yorvik. You shirked your work for quite some time. Yorav is no more. My name is Eivor, a dringer of the Raven Clan. And my purpose is fulfilled. Purpose? <laughs> what purpose? Gorm is dead! The troll is dead! Olaf! Sister, let us celebrate. Gorm Kötwayson is no more. Slain by Eivor Ravenfriend. Eivor Forestrider. Eivor Olavusever. What is this? I had a long-standing blood feud with Gorm and his clan. It is now laid to rest. Oh, the skulls will sing of this day. How Eivor traveled far and wide, hunting Gorm along the world's rim. Songs are not. Gorm is dead. Now I suggest you leave this place. There's no purpose for us here. I... I do not disagree. Gorm was a madman and a troll indeed. But he paid us in silver and that was enough. Brother, are you well? I feared the worst for you. I am well, yes, oh, so well. And I may stay, to linger one season or two, with the friends I have made. As you wish, brother. And you, Eivor, where will you go? Across the sea with us, or back into the woods? I will sail with you. Let's go. Take care of yourself, Olaf. In this life, and the next. Goodbye. Goodbye. Far went the whale road before me. Dark are the deeds that brought me here. Fate may bind my bones to this land, but for now I walk the sea.
it seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Let's tell her the good news. My love, you've been away for so long. Were you worried? Of course I was. Such a long voyage. Did you do what had to be done? I did. And I'm eager to focus on problems closer to home. Good. It is done. Gorham is dead. The Kjotvisan clan is wiped from this world. Good. I would like to hear everything about your journey to Vinland when you have time. One day. I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. I should go. Salutations! What do you have today? Have a good day! I have to go. See you soon. Go with your gods.
There is much honor to be I'll be here should you call again. I hear Eivor needs men. Uh. Nowhere I'd roll. Should you change your mind? I will be here. Tiende. Cast about this lamp, my friend.
Best brace my hood here. Hey now! Dead! Gone! Let's see you, old friend. A prisoner did not lie about this location. Fear breeds truth. This was a slaughter, not a battle. Their wounds are very precise and familiar. This outfit is still in good shape. I'll reclaim it for our clan. Saxons must have stolen this longship. They added our clan banner, but do not know how to mount shields. Looks like they were planning to launch a raid dressed as the Raven Clan and blame us for it. the sentries not me is that a joke you won't be laughing when i drag you before earl edward to answer for your incompetence i would very much like to meet your earl edward uh captain i think that's a real viking drop your weapons Dane, and submit to me i'm norse and you will die for soiling the honor of the raven clan You are true Raven Clan. My name is Roshan, and we share a common enemy. Sir Edward. The Earl of Westerna is a puppet, manipulated by one called Alcila. A fitting title given her duplicitous nature. She belongs to an order who employ disruption and strive to further their ends. Your clan is a tool in her schemes. I've met such weavers of intrigue before, and those who oppose them. I would consider the enemy of my enemy a friend. Let me guide you to where you can take your revenge on the Earl. Lead the way. If this Alcila seeks to wield my clan's armor as a weapon, she shall find it cuts both ways. Satisfy yourself with the Earl, and leave Alcila to me. Ah, uh, perhaps this task is best left to one who is younger. 
to one more familiar with these lands. I was killing her kind before you were off your mother's teeth. The Earl's death will draw her out. Leave the rest to me. That blade you wear upon your arm, where did you get it? It was a gift from my brother. Truly? Is he a... A great warrior and traveler who discovered many things. And yours? Reclaimed after a long absence. The years without it were the hardest I've known. Your endurance is impressive for one of your years. And I meant no disrespect when I offered to kill the one you. My blade has grown neither rusty nor dull. What I lack in brutish strength, I make up in quiet subtlety. I too can be silent when I choose. Ha! Huh. You may be exceptional among your kind, child. But I am a lifetime ahead of you in that. What do you know of Earl Edward? Why does he hate the Raven Clan so? He blames you for the loss of his title and property. The very land where Ravensthorpe now stands. It was there for the taking, abandoned and uncared for. His quarrel is with those who came before us. It matters not to him. He hates all Vikings and will work with whomever will help discredit you and drive you from England. We will have a better view from atop this tower. That is where Alcila and the Earl may camp. At Ravensburg, no less. They will choke on their arrogance. Alcila's gold has built up the fort's defenses. It will be no easy thing to penetrate. A challenge for some, perhaps. Less so for me. Do you know what lies within its walls? If I describe what I've learned, could you picture it with your mind's eye? I can do better. Soon in! Listen carefully. The Saxons within the outer wall are less disciplined. Relying on their Viking attire to deflect curiosity. They will not notice one more Viking among them. I could use the outfit I took off the dead Saxon at the longship. Very good. Also, some Saxons are engaged in tasks which could help you blend in. What of the Earl? Where is he? Within the heart of the encampment. He plays at holding court. But in truth, Alcila keeps him leashed like a hungry dog. The Earl's death must be loud and unmistakable. A clamor Alcila cannot ignore. So, a silent approach with a noisome finish. This is your counsel. Is your mind capable of balancing two conflicting ideas while orchestrating this necessary distraction? I could kill the Earl a hundred different ways while composing a great song for the occasion. Do you have a preference? In the open, beneath that tree, approach silently. Then kill him in full view of his men. That will draw the spider out. I will create a commotion the guards could not ignore. Good. Will you now don the outfit you took from the Saxon imposter to better blend with the rest? This disguise will help me play the imposter.
Why is the Earl so obsessed with the Raven Clan? They took his land or something, I don't know. Who cares so long as we're paid? the worms! I need to touch this grousing suspicion. This area is heavily guarded. Hey, 
cheap and desired destruction. Perhaps the fire will draw our sinless attention. Stretch your wings, Sunan.
Run while you can, cowards! And never cross my path again! Stay your hand, mighty warrior! I offer you everything I gave the Earl and more. An army greater than all others. A kingdom to outshine. It is done. Freya's might to be that deadly after so many winters. That was a glorious sight, wise one. It was as though Hell, Queen of the Underworld, descended from that tree. Uh, I think I felt her in my bones. And not in any comforting way. Are you, uh... uh I am fine. Though I will pay for that glory later. So, now that your destiny is achieved, will you seek a more peaceful path? Alcida was merely an obstacle on a long road. This is the real prize of the day. I'd retrieved it after I put that witch to rest. What is it? The future. A seed to plant in Jerusalem. So the fates are not finished with you. Does it ever end? And you? Are you satisfied to have achieved your vengeance? My greatest satisfaction is knowing that the honor of the Raven Clan is unblemished, and that my people are safe. As it shall ever be, so long as you are the champion. Goodbye, Eivor Wolfkist of the Raven Clan. I wonder if I shall ever learn more of her story. <laughs>